Uh, you heard just prior to that, Ipswich celebrating uh, getting back into the championship. They're preparing for life in the second tier after four years outside uh, the championship. And I'm delighted to say that Sam Morsi, the Ipswich Town captain, joins us now. Hi, Sam. Hi, mate. Uh, thanks for coming on the programme this morning. We were just talking about captains. What do you think makes a, a good captain? What do you think your roles and responsibilities are? Um, I think every captain's individual, really, to the club they're at and to the team that, really, I think the big responsibility is, is to lead in the right way, um, lead in sort of the manager's manner. And then, of course, the most important one is lead the team in front of you. And I think that's really important. Who did you look up to in terms of captains when you were growing up and embarking on the early stages of your football career? It was always Roy Keane for me. It was always Roy Keane. I loved the way he left it all on the pitch. He left blood on the pitch. He was a terrific leader and he just seemed to get the best out of everyone around him. Um, Kieran McKenna came from Manchester United a couple of years ago now. He's been a revelation since he arrived. What, what has set him apart? What has he done to reinvigorate uh, Ipswich Town? Um, it would be hard to put into words, really, one or two sort of sentences. But just from the minute he got here, um, he outlined he wanted us to be a big club. And in that, you have to behave like one, train like one. So straight away, he lifted all the standards. And then obviously, you'll hear about players speaking about the tactical and the technical preparation. So there's a lot which goes into it. Um, but as well, he's a fantastic guy as well. And he goes into so much detail and prepares us so well, gives us every opportunity to do well on a Saturday. How are you set for, for the new season? What are the aspirations now that you're back in the championship? There's a, a lot of Ipswich fans who seem to be quite confident, believing that, that maybe you could make it back-to-back -back promotion. Certainly our own Darren Ambrose is, is predicting that. Is that is that an ambition? <laughs> well, we've, we've been really enjoying pre-season. Um, a couple of new players have come in. We're probably expecting a couple of more to come in as well. And we're just working as hard as we can every day. I think the ambition last season was to become a really good team. And it's the same this season. We want to be a really good team, a close-knit team. We want to represent our values and our football club. Um, it's probably a little bit too early in terms of sort of aspiration, the way you want to be. It's a long, long season. But if we can bring in the right players and the players can gel right, then, you know, we have to aim to finish as high as we can. Always transfer rumours at this stage of the season. There's been quite a few reports linking you with a move to Saudi Arabia. Can you dispel those myths? Yeah, it was news to me, really. Um, obviously, my full focus is this season. It's an incredible project. Um, the fans have talked to me unbelievably well the moment I got here. And I'm just really enjoying this project. I think there's always been a bit of a loose link due to the fact that I've represented Egypt and uh, played for my national team. So there's always been a bit of a loose link there. But no, all focus is on this season. I'm really excited. The fans are really excited. And we really want to attack it and give them a team to be proud of this season. Is it something that gets talked about in the dressing room when your name gets linked with a, a huge money offer? I, I take it you get a bit of uh, bit of winding up from your teammates when those type of stories appear? Yeah, I'm sure there'll be this morning. Um, but no, like I said, it, it was news to me. And yeah, you know, it must have been a uh, a slow transfer market <laughs> <laughs> if my name was linked. Um, but no, like I said, there's been like loose links sort of since I started to play for the national team, really. But as I said, the full focus is this season, really, and, um, you know, trying to trying to lead the lads in a certain way. You're trying to have a really good season. It's really exciting, even in the area. You know, the fans have really missed it. The fans are right behind the club, and we feel that we're building something really special. It was interesting earlier when you said that Kieran McKenna had sort of given you lots of information, but it was difficult to, to put into words exactly how he had influenced the club. How has he changed the way you play and your role? I think um, with every player, really, it's the the tactical analysis and it's the classroom work and it's sort of the one-to-one -one improvements. There's different ways to improve. Some will improve more so on the training pitch, showing new ideas or on the video. So for me, it's massively impacted my game and improved my game, really. He sort of regularly shows me the level of how the top-level players perform in my position and what they do and what they do differently to me. And how I can do better. So it's been amazing, to be honest. I've been really enjoying it. Um, you know, I, I love football. I'm I'm not 21 anymore, but I, I still feel 21 in terms of how I want to improve and how eager I am to improve and 
I think the manager knows that, so he takes a lot of time into improving me and improving my game, and yeah, I've loved every minute of it. It's uh, not a secret that Ipswich's biggest celebrity fan is Ed Sheeran. I think he featured in your kit release video. Have you met him yet? Are you mates? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. I'm still, still waiting. <laughs> um, but no, he, he supports the club fantastically well. We know he comes to the games. Um, but obviously, a celebrity of his magnitude, it is hard to, to manoeuvre on match days. Um, but yeah, it'd be great. Um, great to see him more this season. He, he's a massive supporter and he really supports the club well and it's great to have him on board. And thank you very much for coming on, Sam. Good luck for the rest of the season. We'll watch you keenly and good luck to Ipswich Town as a whole as well. That's the Ipswich captain, Sam Morsey, joining us live on Talk Sport. Ipswich have uh, signed Chelsea's young winner, uh, Amari Hutchison, in a season-long loan in the last 24 hours as well. They've also picked up Jack Taylor from Peterborough, the keeper, uh, Kieran Slicker from Manchester City, and striker George Hurst from Leicester after being on loan at the club uh, last season. They were promoted to the Championship, scoring a massive 101 goals in the process. Could be another good season for them. Uh, let's go to Sean O'Brien, who's watching...